UFC 309 Jones vs. Miocic took place on November 16th at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The event brought in $16.7 million at the gate and even more in pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise sales, not to mention the UFC's broadcasting deal with ESPN, which pulls $300 million a year. But how big of a slice did the fighters take home? The New York State Athletic Commission doesn't disclose fighter pay information, so the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on disclosed earnings from previous events. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Starting with the feature prelim, Marcus McGee outstruck Jonathan Martinez in the opening round of their bantamweight bout and continued the trend in the second, although Martinez started to pick up on McGee's rhythm towards the end of the round. In the third, Martinez landed a heavy low kick that clearly compromised McGee's right leg, but Marcus the Maniac McGee was able to push through the pain and hold on for the unanimous decision victory. Jonathan Martinez made $85,000 to show and 11000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $96,000. While McGee brought in $26,000 to show and $26,000 for the win, along with $4,500 in sponsorship for $56,500 on the night. And now kicking off the main card, James Yantop stepped in on short notice to take on fellow lightweight Mauricio Rufi. A massive betting underdog, Yantop held his own in the striking exchanges in the first round, although Rufi had the more impactful blows. In the second, Rufi scored a knockdown with a cracking left hand and then landed a right that caused Yantop's eye to immediately swell. Yantop upped the intensity in the final frame, but it was too little too late as Mauricio Rufi took the 29-28 unanimous decision win. While the fight was scheduled as a 100 65 pound catchweight bout, Yantop still missed weight by a pound, forfeiting 20% of his purse, meaning he brought in $8,000 to show for his third fight with the promotion and $4,000 in sponsorship, taking home $12,000. While Rufi also won his rookie contract, made $12,000 to show and another $12,000 for the win, $2,000 from Yontop's purse, along with $4,000 in sponsorship pay, for a total of $30,000. Viviani Araujo dictated the pace in the opening round of her bout against Karini Silva until the latter landed a big left hand that had Araujo stumbling backwards. She recovered quickly, but the second round featured several more huge blows from Silva and a takedown that took the fight to the ground. Araujo nearly locked in an armbar midway through the round, but Silva was able to escape and the remainder of the round was closely contested. In the third, both women appeared fatigued and Silva repeatedly pulled guard to the dismay of the crowd. It was a close fight, but the scorecards revealed a unanimous decision win for Viviani Araujo. Silva earned $27,000 to show, as well as $4,500 in sponsorship pay, for $31,500 on the night. While Araujo pulled in $90,000 to show, with another ninety dollars for the win, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a total of $191,000. In the third fight, Paul Craig and Bo Nickel traded punches and low kicks and kept it on the feet in their middleweight bout. Nickel incorporated body shots and landed several crisp blows to the head of his opponent in the second and third rounds, but the output from both fighters was a bit underwhelming and the boos from the crowd became audible as the fight progressed. Nickel didn't attempt a single takedown and continued to land at a higher rate. He unsurprisingly came away with the unanimous decision. Craig earned $96,000 to show and $16,000 in sponsorship pay for a total of $112,000. And the winner, Bo Nickel, made $43,000 to show and another $43,000 for the win, $4,500 in sponsorship, and a total of $90,500. The co-main event saw takedowns by Charles Oliveira allow him to threaten submissions and rain down elbows on fellow lightweight contender Michael Chandler in the first and second rounds. Oliveira's power had Chandler retreating across the octagon and uppercuts and knees in the third round opened up another takedown for Charles. Entering the championship rounds, the momentum was all Oliveira, but that all changed in the fifth, temporarily at least, as Chandler landed a couple of huge right hands and unloaded arguably illegal ground and pound to put Oliveira in real trouble. But the former champ would not be denied. He survived the onslaught and at the end of five rounds would go on to take the unanimous decision win. Chandler, after a two-year layoff waiting for his much-anticipated bout against Conor McGregor, claimed that he'd be earning a career-high payday for this fight. While it pales in comparison to what he would have earned against McGregor, I'm estimating a guaranteed purse of $500,000 for his efforts, along with $6,000 in Venom sponsorship and a $50,000 fight of the night bonus, for a total of $556,000. While Oliveira, as a former champion, would have earned a pretty penny for this fight. While his guaranteed purse was likely less than he earned as champ, it could have been as high as $750,000 guaranteed. That along with $21,000 in sponsorship and his 50k bonus, brings his total to $821,000 on the night. 
Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, so if you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with all the latest videos, take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And finally, the heavyweight main event started off violently as Jon Jones slammed Stipe Miocic to the canvas and rained down elbows and punches for nearly half the opening round. Stipe survived with a cut on his right cheek, but looked hesitant to engage afterwards. Jon used sharp body kicks throughout the fight to hurt Miocic and clearly had the speed advantage. It was one of those body kicks that would ultimately end the fight as Jones landed a spinning back kick right to Stipe's ribcage, crumpling him to the canvas and delivering Jon Jones the TKO victory. After the fight, Dan Dana had this to say about Jones's compensation. John's always been well compensated. You know, he's always been well compensated. Uh, I would never put his total purse number out there, but it's fucking massive. The number that he went over tonight, he's, he's made a lot of money in his career. Listen, you don't fight and then disappear for five years because uh, you weren't well compensated. He makes a lot of money. So um, he'll make a lot more for this fight. We have a pretty good idea how much both main event fighters earned for this event, thanks to Mr. John Nash and the Hey Not The Face podcast. According to Nash, when Francis Ngannou signed with the PFL after his UFC contract expired, it opened up negotiations for top tier UFC heavyweights, allowing them to demand more money since they now have the option of leaving for the PFL to go fight Francis. Obviously, Uncle Dana couldn't allow that to happen, so the purse strings were loosened, meaning that Miocic was able to pull a whopping $5 million purse for this fight. He also earned $32,000 in sponsorship pay, and while he's not the current champion, so pay-per-view points are not guaranteed, for the sake of this estimate, I'll assume he did earn pay-per-view, which at the premium rate outlined in Ngannou's UFC contract offer, comes out to another $1.3 million, totaling $6,332,000 on the night. And as for the still undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones, his contract details were also revealed on Nash's podcast, as allegedly the UFC offered him the exact same terms they presented to Ngannou. Earlier this year, DMs with Jones were leaked, in which he made the bold claim that he'd be securing a massive $15 million payday with this fight. As it turns out, he wasn't that far off based on Nash's numbers. He earned a staggering $12 million guaranteed, and also made the champion's rate of $42,000 in Venom sponsorship, along with a $50 thousand dollar performance of the night bonus and as big a star as jones is he earned an elevated pay-per-view rate which at 850,000 buys totals another 1.6 million that brings his grand total to just under 13.7 million dollars that's all for this episode any corrections to the numbers i've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below as always thanks for watching see you next week for ufc fight night yan versus figueredo